Hey, this is Metal Mike, and welcome back to the new column called the Riff Welder. In this column, I am going to talk about ways that you can bring more, more melody to your regular power chords. We are going to take some fairly stuck progressions, but we're going to move some notes around in order to bring more melody and excitement to your riffs. So check this out. Okay, so for the first example, I am going to play a fairly basic chord progression. The chords are E, D, A, C, and B. It's pretty standard. You will see there's nothing really going on with that outside of just regular chords. In the next example, I'm going to show you what we can do with those chords to make it sound a little cooler. Check it out. Okay, so let me show you what I did in this example. For the first chord, I kept it basic E, power chord. On the second chord, instead of playing the D, I played this little inversion. And what this basically is, is a D note and an F sharp. Um, basically, it's, a, it's, a, it's sort of like a D major triad. Basically what this is, is a D major triad. But what happens is I take this note, F sharp, on the fourth string, and I drop it down an octave lower, which gives you this type of chord. It's a little bit more of a dirtier sounding chord, but when you execute it right, it's got a really cool, almost like a darker, murkier sound. And I think that's cool for bringing out a progression. Okay, so we got the E. And instead of the regular A power chord, I'm actually playing an A right here. And this is the same exact idea. Instead of an A power chord or A triad right here, I'm playing this inversion. Okay, so this is really interesting between those two chords. It sounds pretty cool. For the C chord, I go into regular fourth power chord. You know, I want, I'm bringing this out so the progression actually sounds a little more standard for a second. And when I go to the last chord, the B, I do more of a almost rock and roll turnaround, something you would hear in the late 80s uh, hard rock metal bands. I do something that sounds like this. You heard bands like Whitesnake and things like do this quite often. Let me show you how this goes exactly. It's a very cool way. Okay, so what I did in this example was basically expand on the regular root fifth power chord, but bringing in the third and then harmonically expanding the riff. There's, there was more melody in it. Okay, so the next example, we're going to expand a tiny bit on this exact idea. Okay, so in this riff, I have a rhythm that's constantly being driven by the open E string, okay? That open E is always happening in between the chord inversions. So when I start on the first chord, which is the regular D5, I expand on it by moving my first finger down a fret. 
And when I do this, I'm really playing an A chord with the third in the bass, right? So it's, it's almost like D, A, really quickly. And I wasn't even thinking about the chord changes per se. I was just, when I was writing this riff, I was thinking of melodically altering the regular D chord. And I came out with a pretty interesting uh, melodic part. As you can see, the low E always bounces off in between the chord inversions. Okay? The next part is a power chord E. And now this is an interesting thing that happens here because I'm playing the E5 and I'm putting a pinky. And look at the chord shape. This chord shape is actually now a C. A C triad with the third in the bass, just like this chord. See how it's like two frets in between? So now I'm going to the E to the C major. To cap off the first half of the riff, I'm playing a C flat five, resolving into a regular C five. This is a great heavy metal spot welder, is the flat five. You see a lot of this type of movement happening. Very common. Okay, when I play this riff second time, I'm doing the same exact movements. Except when I get to... Instead of playing the C, I'm actually adding the root octave lower on the bass, which gives us this really thick sounding chord. Now you have to make sure when you play this that you don't move your fingers, you don't make any notes sharp. So you really just want to hit it and move your finger away so that the chord doesn't get out of tune. Otherwise it's gonna sound really muddy. And I finish off the riff again by C flat five resolving to regular C power chord.